So I've been using Taro liquid ant baits for years. It's good stuff, but it gets expensive. I started making my own liquid ant baits a few months ago, and it works great. But one thing that's bothered me was I never really knew how much borax I should be using. I've heard as much as one part borax to one part sugar to as little as one part borax to 20 parts sugar. What happens if you use too much borax? I imagine the ants won't go for the bait. And if you use too little, it won't kill anything and you're just giving them free food. The ingredients in ant bait are simple. Sugar, water, and borax. Some people have used powdered sugar, honey, or jelly instead of regular sugar. My ants have simple tastes. They go nuts over plain old table sugar. Our first mix is going to be a super concentrated mix of one part borax and one part sugar. That's a lot of borax. I'll be surprised if they even come near this stuff. Then we'll go with two parts sugar, one part borax. Three parts sugar, one part borax. Five parts sugar, ten parts sugar, and one control sample of all sugar, no borax. Now as for how much water to use, you don't want to use so much water that it's too runny and spills everywhere, but you want enough water to completely dissolve the sugar and borax. I think the perfect consistency is something like cooking oil. For this experiment, we found the perfect amount of water is to use half the weight of the sugar and borax. For instance, if the sugar and borax mix weighs 2 ounces, we'll use 1 ounce of water. So what we've noticed so far is from 0 borax to 5 to 1 borax, the mixture is pretty clear, the borax is completely dissolved. At 3 to 1, there's a little borax that just won't dissolve and the liquid is a little cloudy. At 1 to 1, it's very cloudy and there's a lot of borax that just won't dissolve. The dining table we're setting is going to be a sheet of aluminum foil. We'll draw circles and write labels for each sample. Here are the volunteers. We're going to do this right outside the entrance to their colony. We'll do 10 drops of each sample on the foil. We've just started and you can already see one guy go straight for the sugar. He's going to gorge himself and go brag to his friends and show them the way. It's been five minutes since we finished serving the bait, and we're starting to get some action. We're about seven minutes in now, and there are just as many ants around two to one as there are around pure sugar. Five to one seems a little more popular, actually, but it's still sort of random right now. One to one ran out of its circle a little bit, but surprisingly, you can still see a lot of ants around there. Now it's been about 30 minutes. Every sample is completely surrounded by ants, shoulder to shoulder. You can't possibly pack any more ants around these pools unless they start climbing on top of each other. And they seem equally attracted to every sample, including, surprisingly, the sample with the highest concentration of borax, one to one. Totally unexpected. So I think we can conclude the ants don't seem to care how much borax is in their food. Well, at least up to one to one sugar and borax. They don't seem to notice the poison at all. What's the best mix? Well, it's hard to say now that we know the ants aren't turned off by high concentrations of borax. But from a practical standpoint, when you go higher than 3 to 1 borax, it becomes harder for the borax to completely dissolve. So I don't think I'd go higher than 3 to 1. I think a good mix would be between 5 to 1 and 3 to 1. So now that we know what they're attracted to, let's make sure our chosen mix is good enough to kill the ants. We'll take the lowest concentration in the range of mixes I've chosen and we'll see if it's good enough to kill this colony. We'll put down a fresh piece of foil and feed them 5 to 1. It's been about 12 minutes, and they're all over the ant bait. I don't see any dead ants lying around, so they're not dropping dead before they can make it back to the colony. It's been about two and a half hours, and they're really eating it up. We've got ants in the middle of the foil now because they've drank all the Kool-Aid there, so now they can walk on it. Looks like it's time for a refill. So now it's been four hours since I gave them the 5 to 1. Traffic has died down considerably. I'd say it's less than half of what it was three hours ago, and they're moving a lot slower than they were earlier. It's now 12 hours since the party started. There are very few ants remaining. So it's pretty obvious this stuff is working. This colony is going down. Okay, 14 hours and there are no ants left. Except that guy. But I see no ants coming in and out of the entrance of the colony. So, in conclusion, ants don't care how much borax you put in the sugar. A 3 to 1 sugar to borax mix is probably as high as you want to go on the borax because it doesn't dissolve completely. 5 to 1 is good enough to kill a colony in half a day. I learned something valuable from this experiment. I hope you did too. I'm still very surprised that the ants were just as attracted to the 1 to 1 borax mix as they were to plain sugar. Hey, just an update. I made this video about two months ago. We've had ants get in our house at least a dozen times since then. 
I've been using my 5 to 1 borax mix and I've noticed that my ant bait kills colonies faster than the taro ant bait I used to use. The taro would take 2 to 3 days to kill a colony, sometimes longer. My 5 to 1 mix has killed every infestation within one day. So it looks like I've got a winner and I'm going to stick with it.